Gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing. Alright? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. No. Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where sorry. were come we on. exactly? Get up, huh? Get up. Ah. I'm sorry, man. We're sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun. Asshole. Good neighbor, and this is what I get. Find some cover, you fucking asshole. You insult me in my hometown.
Redneck! Oh! I'll give you Redneck! to blame. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin, how you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries, ammunition. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. They won't hear me coming. All right, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus.
Ammunition is like the bean machine of the firearms industry. Non-refundable, I should add. I think the last time I cleaned this place, there was another president in power. Ron! Ron, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run! We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them! We are? Yes, we are! I'm up here. I don't see the hardware. But I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? You're walking like you shot yourself! Move! Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him! There's one... ...and there's the other. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Long, sailor. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! Clean shot, Trev! There's another guy at the top of the tower! He's probably looking for his buddy! Woo! Down he goes! Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man! Come on, man! Cover me! I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank! I can't! There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. Shit! He's coming out the far door! Trevor. 
up on me, okay? And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. Someone's coming. He's gonna get me before I finish. He's coming over here. This is it. He clocked me. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper incoming. Always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tacked. <laughs> Start that plane. I'm hoping this change of management will be as painless as possible. Please load up with crates, Trevor. Just like you said. Rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Get me to that place. Let's go, Ronald. Trigger those explosives on that gas tanker! Made it time to use that bomb? Nothing wrong with that! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Narcotics sectors for some time, and that kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit, all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniffing engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. It 
better be. Drop your load. Hold my contact to meet us just off the coast. Oh, there he goes! Finally, I feel safe. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or our other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores at North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. That's him. Let's do it. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now, shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether and get better at it, or fly through a barn. Well, would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. Towards San Kudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T.
I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.